Hobbsing.com. Thanks for joining me for another video beer review. This time we are looking at a beer from a relatively new British brewery, Harbour Brewing Co. in North Cornwall. This is a 6.8% um, port, as it says, uh, inspired by London porters of the eight, uh, 1800s. Beautifully presented, and even before Harbour were brewing, I was alerted to this brewery because they had a really nice looking website. And the branding is just done really nicely. They've got this kind of bit of foil blocking on the label, it's got a slight, it's got a nice quality to it, just really nicely presented, their kegs, their casts, so it's really, the um, clips look always really nicely done. The, uh, I met the two fellas from Harbour down at um, GBBF this year, I had a good chat with them, see them like very nice fellas. Anyway, I'm a big fan of the London Porter, Fuller's London Porter will always be the major stick, I'm not expecting that. If you're watching this, lads, no expecting Fuller's London Porter, but if you can have a year around that mark, you're doing a damn fine job. Pouring out looks relatively, it looks like, doesn't look as dark, but when it kind of collects in the glass, it is very dark indeed. Not quite black, a really, really, really dark crimson. It's got a slight kind of reddish kind of hue at the bottom, like a, like a glass of blood. <laughs> it's that dark crimson just before it becomes black. And the head, can't really agitate it much. Yeah, you get a bit more when you agitate. The foot is a kind of like slightly newspaper kind of coloured um, frothy head. It's kind of slightly gr like pale warm grey. So let's have a sniff, check out the aromas. Ooh, lovely. It's got a, it's got a burnt wood quality in there, slightly ashy, in that sense, but not in a bad, not ashy in a bad sense. Just the, the, the kind of, the, the kind of, glowing embers of a bonfire. Nice coffee note. Soon behind that, there's a slightly sweet, kind of cooking chocolate, which has got that sugar, more of a sugary quality than um, the regular chocolate. And in and out of that, there's plums, damsons, like a like a like a dark cherry, smokiness to it. Lovely complex nose, though. Lovely, fantastic smelling beer. So let's dive in. Cheers. Oh, lovely. It's got a beautiful mouthfeel. As I said, it when it was pouring, it looked quite, looked quite. Pale, slightly thin, but it's in that that mouthfeel is perfect for a pour. Kind of medium, just 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 tipped over towards the kind of thicker side of medium. Lots of dried fruits, raisins, currants, figs. The dried fig. Really heavy roast coffee. That dry, arid bitterness of roasted coffee. Yeah, then more of a heavy, more of a roasty, kind of freshly ground um, coffee. And then there is, yeah, maybe I'm going to go go back to that um, kind of damsons again. Slightly beefy note in there, just kind of pr just kind of jumped out of it just then. Really nice unctuous porter with a lovely rich quite complex flavour understated um, to a point as well it's got it's got a real quality to it it's got a real high quality to it I'm impressed I really am it's got just got everything you want good mouthfeel textbook flavours but also with a lovely complexity to it as well <coughs> Excuse me. On the burp, a bit more of that kind of like fragrant, quite a, quite a traditional coffee, but freshly ground, or maybe even a freshly open pot of um, decent filter coffee. Yeah, that cherry note jumping out a little bit then as well. Very nice. And on top of that, 
you can't, this camera will not even, I'm recording in HD, it's never going to do that, that uh, label qual um, justice, it's got this lovely kind of quality to the paper and just that foil block in the, um, you see that kind of mirrored thing that's called foil blocking as a design term. <laughs> a lovely, lovely logo. I think it's just a beautifully presented product. More breweries should take people, uh, should take this kind of brewery as an example. People like Magic Rock, people like Thornbridge, Colonel. In Colonel's got their own specific style. Everybody should have their own specific style. Dark Star. All presenting themselves really nicely and people will take you serious. It's too many of those little stout breweries who badly present the pump clips, badly conditioned balls, but these people aren't one of them. If you see them around, I think the, the beers getting around, I've had it in Newcastle, I've had it in London, I've had it in Bradford. It gets around to all the best places. You can buy their beers online, the beer merchants, very well priced it was this as well. I urge you to try it. You will not regret it. It's, that is a lovely porter and it's the more I drink it and the more I talk about it, the more I like it. So nice work, lads. Well, that's an absolute cracker. Anyway, I'm Rob from Hopsy.com. I'll see you next time. Cheers.